After a long winter, it is nice to think about the color that spring flowers bring. Joining yes. me now is Mia Jenkins with the Loritz and Gardens. Mia, you guys have an event where we're going to see these flowers and many more. Tell me about it. Yes, this weekend is the 29th annual Greater Omaha Orchid Society Orchid Show mm -hmm. and Sale. So there's two different components. Okay. The show part is where um, people from the community and region who grow orchids as a hobby or almost as a you know, passion, mm -hmm. they bring the best that they have in bloom. And so do the vendors that come from five different states. And they have these, ex I guess, elaborate displays of exotic orchids, wow. um, things that you just don't see every day. Right. These aren't the orchids that you see as you're walking down the aisle at the grocery store. Right. They're, it's just, it's such a diverse family. And so I brought some today that are completely different than what you've ever seen before. But the fragrance and the flowers are all very, uh, very different from each other. And so it's a chance where you can learn about the plant. They're kind of picky, so a lot of people are intimidated by them. You mm -hmm. can learn how to grow them um, and so much more. They smell so yeah. good. And not only can you learn about them, but you also have the opportunity to take one home with you. Yes, that's my favorite part. <laughs> I like to shop yes. and I, I enjoy looking at the different varieties that they bring. There'll be a lot of color patterns, like you were commenting on how these have some you know, purple yeah, and there's yellow. There's some pictures and, there. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, you'll see a lot of the Phalaenopsis that are the most common, but they bring some real rare things that you just can't find locally mm -hmm. all of the time. So it's a great chance if you want to diversify your collection to come and shop and enjoy kind of that first burst of spring color. Although the event is indoors, it's still the fragrance fills the room. The color is all around. And we do have orchids blooming in the conservatory as well, so you can kind of get that, that taste of the heat and the yes. warmth and the lush beauty of the conservatory as mm. well. Now, are orchids hard to grow and keep alive? You know, different varieties have different growing conditions, and some are more temperamental than others. As a general rule, they like heat and, hum you, and humidity, um, so a lot of people's homes just don't have the humid conditions that some of the varieties require, mm -hmm. but many of them are great for beginners, and the vendors that are there they have so much knowledge and can kind of pick the plant for the person yes. um, and the members of the orchid society they do little seminars and they're just so full of knowledge because like if this really is their passion and right. they love sharing it with people and so um, they want as many people in the community to grow orchids as possible um, for me I think it just it lends an air of sophistication to a right, home and when beautiful. you walk in, um, they're just, they're great. I always like to have one in my house and I know a lot of other people feel yeah. the same. We'll throw that information up on the screen for you really quickly. There, it is March 5th and 6th, so this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, the uh, it is included with your paid garden admission, so that's $10 for adults, $5 for children, and it's going to yes. be beautiful. Thank it you, Mia. Be. Thank uh, thanks you. Thanks for coming on.